All right, welcome back. Babatunde Gushigo has joined me and we'll be talking chess. But let me give you a quick update on day five of Wimbledon. Um, Vince Williams is out. Lena is out as well. Something to expect in the fourth round. Novak Djokovic would take on Joe Wilfred Songa. So, some of the highlights you saw, Grigor Dimitrov demitted Alexandra Dolgopolov, uh, two of the most promising um, talents, uh, youngsters. Uh, the world of tennis is expecting to uh, blossom. Of course, uh, uh, Venus lost to Petra Kivitova and a whole lot of other uh, interesting uh, matches were played today. Andy Murray, of course, uh, progressed um, today as well. But, but let's leave tennis. Uh, let, today, let me quickly uh, welcome you on the home stretch now. Let's talk chess. Thank you. And, um, where do we start? Okay, let's start from the Chess uh, Players Association of Nigeria. Give yeah. us updates uh, from the tournament. Well, uh, last week, the Youngsters versus, uh, versus Veterans, veterans okay. held and... Who won? The Youngsters won. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm telling you. They the Veterans. They, what was the score? Yeah, 52 to 42. Okay, okay. And it was, it was a brilliant, it was a brilliant show. As at uh, the center, uh, as at the middle of the tournament, uh, the Veterans were leading, but I guess they, the youngsters caught up. <laughs> they caught up and the Veterans were not able to hold their own until the end. So okay. that was what happened with them. But uh, this Sunday, uh, the 29th of June, uh, the, there's going to be a blitz tournament which is supposed to be monthly all right yeah every last month every last sunday of the of the month the the blitz the chess player association of nigeria's when does blitz it start? tournament it starts by 10 a.m that's tomorrow no two yeah oh uh, no on on sunday okay on okay. sunday 2 p.m on sunday it starts and it goes on until the end of uh the tournament the event all so right. it's going to be very very interesting to see and very, very interesting to be at. All right, let's talk about Nigeria's national champion and Nigeria's highest um, rated uh, player. What's yeah. the updates? Well, Fauli John I mean, mm -hmm. uh, he, he himself and Bumi Olakwe, who is the, uh, Fauli John I mean, is the current national champion. Okay, and, and the highest rated Nigerian well, player? Well, the highest rated Nigerian player is Bumi Olakwe currently, and these two will be at Ghana. They are currently at Ghana. In Ghana, Ghana for the yeah, President's Cup? Yes, for the fourth President's Cup. Uh, started today, and uh, it's going to run until July... Uh, First? The fifth, actually. Fifth, okay. Yeah, so it's it's something that we should be looking forward to hearing good news from, from them. Although, it's not just the two of them that are there. There are other Nigerians there. There are other Nigerians there. So, it's going, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very good to okay. see. Let's, let's travel abroad, and um, it doesn't get bigger that the World Chess Open. Yeah, well, you might say so, but I might think differently. Although it does get bigger, but at the same time, the World Chess Open is a big stage mm -hmm. because you are, they are putting up 250,000 US dollars. It's big for me because there are Nigerian players there. Yes, well, yes, there are Nigerian players playing in several categories uh, in the World Chess Open, and it kicks off on the 30th of June. Uh, Hopefully, our Nigerian contingents will do us proud do well. and, and come up with very good things to talk about eventually. Uh, but the World Chess Olympiad, which is actually quite bigger than the World Chess mm -hmm. Open, uh, will be starting August the 1st, and it's going to be 181 countries would be participating. Okay, let's talk about, as we wrap this up um, on the show today, uh, let's yeah. talk about the ladies now, because we spend most of the time talking about the guys. guys. Okay, let's talk about who you fan, uh, who the Chinese 20-year-old yeah. uh, best you. Um, girl player for chess, yeah. second best female um, chess uh, player. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what's this about that? Uh, she's in well, the news? Well, yeah, she, she, they are, currently there's the FIDE, the Women FIDE uh, Grand Prix mm -hmm. currently going on in Georgia. It started on the 18th of this month. All eyes uh, will be on her. All eyes are on her and she is delivering. Okay. Although today she she missed a few a few moves and eventually got a draw against her opponent, but one way or the other, Hui Yifan has been in tremendous form. Uh, in as at round seven, she 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 led the pack by a point and a half. Okay. For you to lead by a point and a half, it says a lot about you in chess. Well, the, the lady that always seems to top out one way or the other, Judith. Uh, well, what's, what's Judith, the for, for Judith Polga, she has not been playing. She told herself that she was not going to play in any of the women tournaments okay. because she felt 
or she feels she believes that she is better okay. than every other female player. All right. So she's comparing So we'll just concentrate on who you found that. Yes. Certainly. She might just likely win the event. Well, most likely. Okay. I, I don't see any other person topping up. When next you come here, uh, we'll be talking about who eventually yeah. won um, that event. Well, thank you today for your time on Sports Tonight. That's how we have to wrap things up. We do hope that you enjoyed everything we were able to do tonight. Of course, join us again on Monday. But I say this, keep the faith. Just believe Nigeria can win against France. It is possible. Well, that's how we wrap this up. From me and from everyone that's made tonight's show what it was, uh, it's bye for now.